All right, no video of the process, but I did uh, drop a little, what is that, like a 5 sixteenths socket on top of the little pilot house to kind of clamp it down while everything dries, hold everything in place. In the meantime, let's give a little uh, walk around this boat. See what we got going on here. I think she looks pretty good. There'll be a little bit of cleanup with some errant masts, maybe a few little lines and things, but I think she's doing all right. Here we go, the real moment of truth has arrived. See if I can get this final funnel in place. All right, I've already got glue in the hole. So let's see if we can get her done. Trying to straddle the mast. Now if I can get this thing at the right angle. It's close. Oh, look at that. Look at that, I think. Nope, 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 nope. No. Dang it. That mast is in the wrong place. I think it's hung up on one of the lines. Flip to the other side, see if I can fix that. But I think we pretty much got it. All right, I got her flipped around, and I was worried about that dude being outside of the vent pipe there, but I think it just looked that way because of the bottle distortion. So I think everything is in place. And lined up quite well. So the last thing to do will be uh, pull those tight, put a little put a little epoxy or glue, CA glue probably right there on the eye pin. Pull it tight, and then when it dries, snip it off. But that's that's routine. So. Good grief, I think we actually pulled this off. Wow. All right, big sigh of relief. Got the final threads clipped, so let's take a look around this thing. I think I got everything straightened up. Looks like the shrouds and the stays are pretty tight. That's good. There's many dimples. She gives it two horns up. Go around. See what looks like in there. Okay. Size looking pretty good too. All right. I think that we can call this. A success. Whew. Boy, I'm glad that's over.